teaching you about scripture writing, how to magnify your imagination so other people will just know what you're talking about, and other than know what you're talking about, they think that you're a great writer. This will increase your popularity. Right now, we're going to describe a block of cheese. You might think that this is fairly easy. Okay, so a block of cheese. Uh, the block of cheese sat upon the table. And, okay, you're typing this up. And then suddenly you realize something. This sentence is not something that is going to be published in a top-notch writer's magazine because one thing, it has no description. This sentence needs to have some description. And description is where you sprinkle some sparkles on your sentence, where you really put... Um, describe, where you describe the visual image, you describe the smells, you describe the sounds. Okay, fine, it can be just smells and looks. Two will be enough. Because, um, but it's just good to keep in the guidelines. Smell, taste, feel, look, sound. And while well, you might not use all of them, then it's pretty good for to keep in mind. So we're going to have look, taste, and smell. So three, actually. Um, so our block of cheese. The, let's see, what's the favorite kind of cheese? Well, I know that cheddar is fairly popular, so I'm going to say the block of moldy cheddar cheese smelling of rotted tomatoes sat upon the cutting board. It, um, Amantha put a slice of cheddar into her mouth and spit it out immediately. It tasted. So, this is our second draft, and this sentence is a little more descriptive because it has the taste, it has what it looks like, it's moldy cheese, it's cheddar, and it has who's eating it, so we're not getting another mysterious person. But we can go a little more deeper into the cheese, a little like the cheese. The Brobdingnagian chunk cheddar cheese lay upon the cutting board, moldy, looking moldy, and smelling rotten tomatoes. Amantha put a slice into her mouth. It tasted like rotten tomatoes. And if you're wondering what Brobdingnagian means, it means very large. So instead of being a mysterious and unknown size, our cheese may uh, stretch across a manor or take up your entire cutting board. So we now have how big the cheese is, what it smells like, what it tastes like, and it's quite a bit more description. So I should, um, so we should all describe the way things sound, feel, taste, etc. And as I mentioned, you need to just keep these in mind and you might not use taste for a skateboard unless you were ever unfortunate enough to eat your skateboard on somebody else's dare or something. Then, um, so we need to keep these guidelines in mind for good sentences that may be published in a top-notch writer's magazine. So, right now we're going to have a sentence. For instance, the boy went into the house. He sat down in the chair and looked out the window. Okay, we're typing this up. I think it's going to be in the writer's magazine. Then we realize another thing. It has no description. So, the boy went into the house. I just have way too many questions. What does the boy look like? How old is he? Is he in a hurry? Is he slow? Uh, what time of day is it? What does he see out the window? What sort of room is he in? Is it raining outside? Stuff like this that we just completely forgot to write. So, Instead of having a simple sense, we should put some description in. So let's see, how old is the boy? Maybe the. How about.